This is the Exxon Broadcast Network, broadcasting worldwide on broadcast affiliates and satellite program providers, including CNN Broadcast Network, Sirius Satellite Network, Star Media, Good News Radio Network, Angel Broadcast Network, Wiki Broadcast Network, and WPBN-TV. For more information on the X-Zone Broadcast Network, visit us at www.xzbn.net. Take a step back in time and discover old Florida cuisine at Marsh Landing Restaurant in Felsmere. Enjoy delicacies such as frog legs, gator tail, catfish, and swamp cabbage, or enjoy the more traditional cuisine like hand-cut Angus steaks, ribs, and seafood. Join us for breakfast with a southern flair featuring sweet potato pancakes, biscuits and gravy, and much more. Planning a party? Marsh Landing's private dining room can accommodate groups from 8 to 80 people. While you're visiting, enjoy the historic pictures, artifacts, and stories that line the walls. Marsh Landing is truly a unique experience. Marsh Landing Restaurant, 44 North Broadway in historic Felsmere, or visit marshlandingrestaurant.com. Marsh Landing, old Florida cuisine at its best. to everything with Dr. Kimberly McGeorge. And I am so excited about our guest today. We have an absolute, very experienced and beautiful soul by the name of Ms. Sandra McKee. And we are going to be doing something a little different today. We are going to be talking about, wait for it, a game. But I don't think it's the kind of game you guys are used to playing. It's a game about consciousness. It's a game about ego. It's a game about energy. I believe that at least that's what I've been able to pick up so far. But of course, we will be talking to Sandra about that. But one thing I always forget to tell you guys when, when we do this show is that on secrettoeverything.com, anybody who listens anywhere in the world is welcome to go on and experience the power of energy, the power of frequency, the power of you firsthand. And what am I talking about? I am talking about all day long, we run free aura scans and it's just a light look into your auric field. And some of you are like, what the heck are you talking about? And what I'm talking about is the body of energy that surrounds your physical body and that actually holds more information about you than your brain. And so what we do is we ask you for your picture, we ask you for your birth date, we take a snapshot and we give you a kind of brief analysis of some crucial things that are going on in your energy right now. So you're welcome to take advantage of that any time of the day or night on secrettoeverything.com. Just be patient because like I said, we get hundreds of requests from all from all over the world. And I wanted to talk to you about a program I was on uh, this week that you guys might want to go check out because we have been talking a lot about uh, cryptozoology on this program and we've been doing a lot of shows with various experts in the cryptozoology field. And you might want to check out um, Understanding Sasquatch. I was a guest on there for actually two hours and we talked a, about a lot of different things. So if you're interested in cryptozoology, look up that archive and feel free to listen to that program. I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about your aura because it's absolutely so crucial that you begin to understand, and I'm sure Sandra will chime in on this when we uh, talk to her, but that you begin to understand that your aura holds millions of pieces of information and genuinely gifted people can actually be walking down the street or can be in the grocery store and look over at you and be like, oh my goodness, she's really angry today. And it might not be because you've got a big scowl on your face. It might be because your R is lit up with a really icky kind of red. And so we can tell a lot about the emotional state, the mental state, even the past, present, future trauma, or really, really positive things by looking at your aura. 
And it's funny because because I noticed myself that I said gifted person because one thing I love about energy and I love about this program and I love what the Exxon and Rob does is energy doesn't lie. It doesn't. You can hide a lot of things, but as society gets more and more technologically advanced, there's going to be nowhere to hide. There's going to be nowhere to hide from each other. There's going to be nowhere to hide from your counselor or uh, your medical doctor or your spiritual practitioner. And you know who's going to step in and is already taking full advantage, which the technology has been around forever, of things like our technology and biofeedback is the government. So this is something you guys cannot be like, oh, that doesn't apply to me. Oh, that's future stuff. It's going to begin, if it hasn't already, both positively and negatively, touching each and every one of your lives in a very very real way. So it's important that we start to understand what a chakra is. You know, your whole life force goes or doesn't go through each of your chakras and you actually have control over your energy field. And as practitioners, a lot of us, when we work with you, we teach you about the aspects of your energy that you may not be familiar with or you may not be able to see. But what I love about technology and what I love about things like a game is we start to feel and we start to know and we start to sense and we realize that we actually have the same gifts and abilities as the psychics that we go to, as the teachers that we go to, as the natural health practitioners that we go to. And we can start to master the ability of reading energy and reading frequency. And this has been a long, a long, around a long, long time ago in the 12th century. They were already studying and mapping and painting pictures of the aura. Perhaps you look at nativity pictures at this time of year and you see Jesus or Mary or the shepherds or the wise men and they have a big aura painted around them. That is what we're talking about. Even back then, they recognized that there was this beautiful, energetic light force that exists, or dark force, as the case may be, that exists around people. It holds all, all the vibrational frequencies of your being. And as you guys are learning, everything is vibration. Your emotions, your thoughts, the nutrition that is or isn't in your body. Diseases have a specific vibration and a specific frequency. So we'll continue to delve into all the mysteries that you like to talk about on The Secret to Everything. And we'll be right back with our beautiful guest, Sandra McKee, right here on The Secret to Everything. This is the Exxon Broadcast Network, broadcasting worldwide on broadcast affiliates and satellite program providers, including CNN Broadcast Network, Sirius Satellite Network, Star Media, Good News Radio Network, Angel Broadcast Network, Wiki Broadcast Network, and WPBN-TV. For more information on the X-Zone Broadcast Network, visit us at www.xzbn.net. How would you like to be able to read other people's minds? Well, the next best thing is here. When you know how to read a person's name, you know how the person thinks, feels, and behaves. Each letter in our name holds a key to unlock our true essence. Our name contains both our gifts and challenges in this lifetime. Mnemology science discovers personality secrets hidden in the placement of the letters of our names, including the first and last impression people remember about us. Sharon shows us how to interpret the arrangement of letters as outlined in her book, Know the Name, Know the Person. Sharon Lynn Wyeth created Mnemology Science after 18 years of research and testing her theories and has supported thousands of people around the world in understanding themselves and others better. You'll enjoy Sharon's unique teachings as she shares her system to learn the gifts behind your given birth name. Even if you don't like your birth name, there are jewels in this book. If you're thinking of changing your name, ready to name your child, or wanting to get along better with others, this is the book for you. 
If you'd like to improve your relationships and change your life for the better, get the book today, Know the Name, Know the Person, or visit www.knowthename.com. That's www.knowthename.com. Take a step back in time and discover old Florida cuisine at Marsh Landing Restaurant in Felsmere, Florida. Enjoy delicacies such as frog legs, gator tail, catfish, and swamp cabbage, or enjoy the more traditional cuisine such as hand-cut Angus steaks, ribs, and seafood. Join us for breakfast with a southern flair featuring sweet potato pancakes, biscuits and gravy, and much more. Planning a party? Marsh Landing's private dining rooms can accommodate groups from 8 to 80 people. While you visit, enjoy the historic pictures, artifacts, and stories that line the walls. Marsh Landing is truly a unique experience. Marsh Landing Restaurant, 44 North Broadway in historic downtown Felsmere. Or visit marshlandingrestaurant.com. Marsh Landing, Old Florida cuisine at its best. Welcome back to The Secret to Everything with Dr. Kimberly McGeorge, and I have with me as my guest today, Sander McKee, and thank you, Sander, so much for being with us on The Secret to Everything. Well, thank you for having me. I'm very excited. I love your I, intro, too. Oh, you're so sweet. I'm super excited because I actually uh, found Sander on a social media site, and I was reading over your bio on there, and I am like, in the presence of greatness, you are so experienced. I, I'm not sure. I think it would be easier for you to share with the audience what you haven't studied and what you're not a master of than what you are. Uh, I, you know, I, when, I, uh, when my feet touch the ground, I just think I've been searching and seeking and my whole life. Um, and it's been a journey, but it's been great. Yeah. One of my one of my favorite things um, that I have come across and have done, I have to say, is the game. I absolutely love it. I started out. Um, actually, I grew up pagan, and my grandmother was a pagan. And today's a great day of celebration of that. But so I've always been surrounded by. Um, you know, mystics, and we, I grew up on a farm in New Hampshire, and we lived by the moon and the stars, and my grandmother was an astrologer, so it's been around me forever, um, and I actually was very psychic. I learned tarot reading at eight years old, but when I became a teenager, I absolutely rebelled, wanted nothing to do with it. I thought it was crazy, and <laughs> I remember in my uh, late teens and early 20s, you know, I'd be hanging out in a bar, and it was kind of a joke because I could read people's dreams, and I really had no idea what I was doing, to be honest. It was uh, kind of frivolous to me at that point until I actually had a really deep spiritual awakening, and then I really dove in and I started studying. I was so hungry I couldn't get enough. Um, I first went to massage school, became a Reiki master, and I just kept going on and on. And um, recently I've been studying the epi genetics but I have to say the game is the first and the foremost the funnest thing I think I've ever done um so I can tell you a little bit about the game board if you'd like yeah you know it's it's so um I almost don't like the word game because the energy of it is like so big uh when I go into it uh but but I love it I love that you chose that as an entry point to like really profound things about really people's souls, people's energy fields, you know, yourself. I mean, each person that, you know, enters the game, <laughs> we'll make it like a movie trailer, enters yeah. the game of perceptions, you know. Um, yeah. So why don't you tell us, um, sure. you know, you said that, you know, you're really passionate about it. It's like one of your major accomplishments. And mm -hmm. of course you're like right in the middle of it. You know, I can feel it like you are the game, but yeah, um, yeah. I, so share with us, before you tell us about the game, share with us, what was the catalyst or was it just an act of creation that you even came up with? Well, this? actually, it was going to be a book um, and it was really pretty much a book of my life where it um, it was it's and I may still be doing the book. I actually had an offer to do it. It's called Once Upon a Time. And it starts off where the character is in her in between life, um, programming everything that she wants to create in her life. 
And, um, you know, in her in-between life, she has all the characters that she's going to co-create with and setting up all the soul dynamics. And then she takes that 90-degree turn and veils herself with the forgetfulness that she created all in the first place. And it goes to the first chapter of In Between the Sheets of Reality. And then it goes through seven chapters, which represent the seven chakras. So you pick up a storyline of each chakra in each chapter um, how the filters of belief systems are built through the chakras and the shadows that are developed from it. And then in the seventh uh, chapter, she has a near-death experience, which really is about the seventh sacrament and the seventh chakra. And then you turn the book around, and it's a reverse mirror of how she became conscious through the first seven past sacraments chakras of her life where it was all the distorted beliefs and everything so instead of writing a book i turned it into a game so in the game the game board itself there's seven paths and each path represents a chakra and in the path of the chakra you can land on what's called a shadow card or you can land on a wisdom card but the whole idea, the whole intention of the game is that it creates an interplay between your lower egoic self and the higher self. Um, and of course, the, the, the lower egoic self, the lower mind, that's the egoic body in the game. And we know that the lower mind is developed from the spoon-fed definitions from our caregivers. It's lots mm -hmm. of uh, generational mm -hmm. hand-me-downs, ancestral imprints, and so on and so on. So, so really and truly, it's kind of, once you plug into the game, there's a sympathetic resonance that's created, and um, it's like picking up a telephone. So it's kind of communicating to your higher self, to your lower self, and it gets to renegotiate all the distorted thinking and faulty beliefs that you um, are perhaps unconscious to that is in the driver's seat of your life that's creating the stress and, you know, the unconscious part of yourself. So what the game does, um, like I said, you bring the intention for what you want to um, create, and it's going to show you what's stopping you from creating it. So in other words, depending on what path you're on in the game and what the information is, because there's many different layers to the game, you can uh, either get a card, so you'll get a shadow card or a wisdom card. You might have to go to the holographic deck, and that's going to take you deeper into the psyche of the soul. So it's going to take you, like let's say you've got a program running or a racket, and basically that's a part of the ego um, that just stops you from seeing what you need to see so that you can move forward. And really, truly, the best thing to do, I don't know if you're open to it, Kim, if you want to play a quick round of the game. Oh, yeah, we absolutely can. Um, I think we have got a little bit of time before the commercial break. I have a quick question. Sure. So is it like the energy of like, you know, some people consider the tarot kind of like a game. Is it well, kind of like that? As far as it doesn't resonance. predict the future. No, it doesn't predict the future because only you can predict the future. They're really, I mean, there's a probable event, but it's really about getting clear on what you, what your intentions are. So, um, let's say that you have an intention to, let's just say, lose weight, and for some reason you can't lose weight. Well, it's going to show you what's behind that because it's not always what you're eating. It could be what's weighing you down. So it could be something in your relationships. It could be something. Um, financial for you, but it's just showing up in your body through weight. Gotcha. And that's what I love about it. I love that you brought up, you know, the ancestral things and the beliefs. And a lot of times when we come in and we work with frequencies and energy, um, we move more energy by pinpointing and releasing those false or real beliefs than we mm -hmm. do by, you know, bringing in a supplement or bringing in a, a homeopathic remedy or something like that. So I think you're on to something here. Uh, I think it's brilliant. Yeah, it's it's so much fun too. But there's, there's so much to the game and to explain it all at one time, it's really kind of hard. But what I love about the game too, you can play it individually or you can play it with a group. And there's a group consciousness you know, as much as there's your lower self playing and the higher self playing, well, when you get a whole group dynamic going, then you start mirroring one another. 
So the movement and the synergy of playing with a group, the healing is much more dynamic and deeper. So it's really a lot of fun, and it's fun. There's some things in the game you might have to get up and dance to move some energy. You might have to put a mask on to, over your eyes to make you go in. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. Um, but, yeah, it's fun. So this would be something that you could uh, bring to like an intensive or bring out yeah. in a class or a retreat. Um, if you were a practitioner, you could use this. You could use it if you were, uh, I guess, like a therapist or a counselor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, you can play it in a retreat. You can play it with one people. Or you can play it up to six people. Or when you start doing it in a group, you're working more within the collective consciousness of the group. So it, it picks up like on one thread. And it is synchronistic. Everything is synchronistic in the game. It's paradoxical. Um, yeah, better experiencing it, uh, you know, it, it's it's kind of hard to explain. No, but I got it. I got you, it. Yeah, oh, good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Great. So, well, energetic. Yeah, I, I got it. It's a big thing, but I, I kind of got the big energy yeah. of it. Well, we've got a couple minutes before the break. Uh, do you think that's enough time to dig in and start? Start, yeah, uh, just play? if you have an intent, you know, wherever it is that you feel stuck in your life that you want to manifest, but yet you're having a hard time manifesting, that's the place you want to go. And, you know, everything does exist simultaneously. So anything that you do desire or excited about does exist. It's just that you're not in alignment to the frequency of it. And everything is frequency and your belief systems are frequency. You're like yeah. an antenna. So if your antenna yeah. is vibrating right, you're going to pull in the reality that already does exist. So what would your intention be, Miss Kim? Interesting. It's interesting that, and, and I know you're very psychic and intuitive, so it's interesting that you brought up weight because that is like something I was actually talking with one of my practitioner friends about. Um, yesterday, I'm like, I don't know why. I've always been really, really, really thin. And, you know, the past couple of years, a lot of weight has crept up on me. And it's really puzzling to me because I've got like five different pieces of technology and, you know, access to all this knowledge. So, you know, maybe I could discover something today. That'd be marvelous. Sure. Um, so you, uh, you are looking to release some weight? Absolutely. Okay. So you're, so then what you would just want to state, um, it is in, um, it is commanded in the name of divine love that I manifest, um, my optimal weight. And do you have a, a pinpoint number that you're looking for? Not really. I just want like the healthy weight that's like, okay. Right my body. So you know what? I would even do it like this, Kim. Reveal to me what stands between me and my healthy ideal weight. Okay, you want me to say that? Yep. yep. Okay. Um, reveal to me what stands between me and my ideal weight. Okay. So now with the roll of the die, I'm going to roll one die, and that's going to show us what chakra is blocked for you at this uh -huh. time. Okay, so you're blocked in the relationship path. So I'm going to, I'm going to give you a real quick um, the synopsis on what the relationship path is. Okay, so all of our relationships are mirrors of the relationship that we're having with ourselves. So that's like the overall theme of the relationship path. So the template cues for alignment. So this might be some of the shadow qualities, but this we haven't even gotten a card yet. This is just telling you what it is. So controlled negative dramas, betrayals, deceptions, glamour, sex, ethics, boundary issues, codependency, Lack of creativity, pleasure versus pain, manipulation, money is power, lack of congruency in how you value yourself, controlled or to control, can't make decisions, addiction, rape. So that's just some of the shadow components of the relationship path, which is your sexual chakra, which I know you probably know that. So the energy integration, this is what we're looking for. Intimacy with self and others, healthy psychological boundaries, compassion, allowance, integral decision-making, enhanced creativity, the ability to directly link to your authentic self and personal power to make and create empowered choices and actions when the other wins, I win. So those are what you want to look for. So I'm going to um, roll the die, and I'm going to put you on the relationship path. At this point, everybody sitting at the table synchronistically, because wherever they sit, everything means something. 
So, and then you pick a totem, but I'm just going to pick one for you. And you got seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, seven. So, so you process that, and um, we're going to leave everybody kind of in suspense. And you guys, I'm really putting my out, myself out here for you guys. I love you guys. So I'm being the, the guinea pig here. So we'll be right back with Sandra McKee with the Game of Perceptions right here in The Secret to Everything with Dr. Kimberly McGeorge. This is the Exxon Broadcast Network, broadcasting worldwide on broadcast affiliates and satellite program providers, including CNN Broadcast Network, Sirius Satellite Network, Star Media, Good News Radio Network, Angel Broadcast Network, Wiki Broadcast Network, and WPBN-TV. For more information on the X-Zone Broadcast Network, visit us at www.xzbn.net. While science pursues fact, magic accesses the quantum level, bridging random facts to form truth. As long as science and magic remain separate and polarized, the truth cannot be known. I'm Gwilda Wiecka. Join me on the Science of Magic radio program, dedicated to unification and evolution of consciousness. During each episode, I'll be speaking with experienced and respected scientists and mystics. From astrologers to astronomers, from medical doctors to shaman, the scientific method to dowsing and intuition, we'll weave together information from seemingly divergent practices to promote unity and enlightenment. Join me, Gwilda Wiyaka, and the Science of Magic right here on the Mutual Broadcast Network. For more information, visit www.thescienceofmagic.net. Gibbs A. Williams, Ph.D., is a practicing psychoanalyst, supervisor, researcher, and author in New York City. Much of his life has been dedicated to understanding nature and the uses of meaningful coincidences or synchronicities. His radical and original non-Jungian, non-mystical, non-magical theory of synchronicities illuminates much of the fog surrounding this challenging and perplexing topic. His ideas and manners are fresh, presented in a style that is both entertaining and highly informative. He is also an expert on crisis intervention, specially focused on violence reduction for the police and citizens, mastering anxiety, frustration, and stress without the use of medication, and effectively preventing and treating heroin addiction. Dr. Williams can be contacted at his email address at gwwilliamsny11 at aol.com or visit his website at Did you know that when you're on the road with limited data or Wi-Fi, you can still listen to the X-Zone radio show with Rob McConnell, The Science of Magic with Gwilda Wiaka, X-1, Dimension X, Space Patrol, and every minute of the X-Zone broadcast network by calling 213-401-0080, courtesy of Audio Now. No smartphone, app, or internet needed. It saves your data plan and it's free if you have unlimited minutes. Call 213-401-0080 to listen on any phone, anytime, anywhere. Remember 213-401-0080 for the best of the paranormal, parapsychology, and sci-fi radio programming anywhere, 24-7-365. Afterlife expert Roberta Grimes was the first one to say that dying can be fun. Now her best-selling book, The Fun of Dying, is available in stores worldwide. So if you wonder whether death ends life, how it feels to die, or what heaven might be like, The Fun of Dying was written for you. And if you have always been afraid of death, or if you worry that your life is no meaning, let The Fun of Dying ease your fears and bring new meaning to your life. Nothing said in The Fun of Dying is based on the teachings of any religion. Instead, Roberta draws on evidence to explain how death happens, how it feels, and what comes next. A lot of the best death-related evidence was produced in the first half of the 20th century. When it is put together with recent discoveries, it tells a consistent and amazing story. Roberta Grimes blogs and answers questions at robertagrimes.com.
Kimberly Meek George and we in case you're just joining us and I don't just want to start talking because you guys are gonna be like what the heck are we doing here we are actually playing a, a round of the game of perceptions that Sandra McKee has created and you're gonna want to go back and listen to the beginning to kind of um, see how this was birthed and hear a little bit about Sandra, but we're kind of right in the middle of beginning uh, to delve into an area that I shared that I'm currently struggling with, which is releasing some physical and probably some other levels <laughs> I'm feeling here. Wait, so take it, Sandra. Okay. Are you ready to be vulnerable, Kim? I, I know. I just got that. I'm like, um, maybe we should, we should cancel this show today. <laughs> You know, it's powerful to be vulnerable. I mean, it's, it's, okay. So anyways, hon, you landed on the relationship path, which we went over the qualities. You know it's in your sexual chakra. Um, you got seven, which puts you into what's called the shadow card in the path. So a shadow card shadow is card. good. It's going to show you something that perhaps is distorted within your thinking that really doesn't probably even belong to you. So, um, what you picked is, so this is your higher self delivering you some information about you. <clears throat> and it says, um, and your, your question ag again was asking what stands between you and your ideal optimal um, weight and health. And it says, I use giving as a way of feeling safe in a relationship. Then I feel like I gave something away that I really wanted it causing a reaction in me. And then the, the energy alignment is power versus powerlessness. What are you truly giving away? So um, let me read it to you again, Kim. I use giving as a way of feeling safe in a relationship. Then I feel like I gave something away that I really wanted. It's causing a reaction in me. Okay, so that is what you want to speak to. And then the energy alignment is power versus powerlessness. What are you truly giving away? And that's a little bit of a paradox because you're holding on to weight, but you're giving something away that you really don't want to. So does that make any sense to you? It actually does, unfortunately, on a number number of levels. Um, you kind of hit on a sore spot of... Um, my life. My life is actually super, super amazing. I haven't dated in four years because of these issues, not because of weight issue, because of what you're talking about, power issues, uh, giving away too much power, uh, all that. Um, and I tend to be a big giver um, and I have a difficult time receiving. And when I am a big giver, I usually, and I know this is a, a lot of you will analyze the, what I'm going to say next, but usually I end up being the only one that gives. I end up being taken advantage of, stepped on, pushed down, stepped over. You know, I've had some big, big things happen in the, in the last couple of years, including mm -hmm. like my entire identity's been taken and sold on the market. Really? It's sold today. Yeah, this is a big issue for me. So I'm a little blown away right now. <laughs> Well, thank you for sharing, first of all. I, I, that's huge. Um, but So let me ask you this. And you, the card's are not done because it's asking you to take a trip to the holographic deck. So that means it's deeper than just the surface that you're even talking about. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it can go many, many layers. But, that, but that's okay. So let me just ask you this, if I could. And this is where we have a journal that we journal throughout the game. It's called the Navigator's okay. Journal. Okay. And because by the end of the game, you get a story from your higher self, and you get to go home and read it and take action from it. So how does this correlate to your wait? You're waiting around four years for not dating. I'm talking metaphorically. Um, I think because I just don't want to, which is, you know, maybe this does directly correlate to my physical way. I just don't want to deal with it anymore. If I, if I remove myself from, from relationships, of course, intimate, sexual, romantic relationships, then we don't have this issue, right? And I'm saying that facetiously to you and everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's a story that you got going though, hon. We got to kill that story, right? Because that's of the past. So something needs to be integrated so that you can let that slip into a parallel reality and play out some other place, uh, not here, right? Yeah, good point. Sure. Yeah. 
Well, you know, usually I would take a little bit more time, but I know that we don't have a whole lot. So let's go to the holographic deck because it's asking you to go to the holographic deck. So what we would be doing is you would be writing down everything that you had just said um, because there's a belief system that's holding on to that. And that belief, the ego is saying, I'm going to keep you safe by holding on to this belief that we just won't do anything because we're going to get hurt because I'm going to lose power. Mm-hmm. And that's not true. That's just your ego talking. But I'm going to take you to the holographic deck now. So um, I have to roll the dice a few times. So we've got one, two, six. One. Uh, hold on one sec. You're fine. Well, let me ask you this while you're doing that. Um, mm-hmm. If you're like, you're kind of facilitating this game example with me, um, does the is there a facilitator in the game, and does the facilitator play the game, or is the facilitator no, like I, uh, okay? Yeah, yeah. we're the I would be the wellness guide, so the wellness guide uh-huh. facilitates the group. So there's got to be somebody that holds the energy. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, so anyways, it took you to archetypes. So you know what archetypes are. Archetypes are energies Absolutely. that get their animation from the collective unconscious. The collective unconscious, you know, consists of like, a, a, you know, a whole virtual of libraries. Um, but uh, what you got was the rescuer. <laughs> <laughs> the archetype of the rescuer. So, you know, rescuing energy and setting yourself up not to receive really keeps you somewhat isolated, Kim. And in that isolation, the ego will put you in isolation because it wants to keep you safe. Because remember, the ego thinks that it's doing everything it does to protect you. And really and truly, the ego, you know, you go to the end of the road, you look both ways, and there's no car, sh- and, and you go. That's the job of the ego. We love our ego, but it has too big of a job. So when you're in the relationship path and the sexual chakra, in the relationships and all of that stuff, getting more deeply intimate, connected to higher power, your higher source, is going to help to kill the story. But ultimately, there's a belief running in you um, that you would want to work on. So, uh, um, <laughs> yeah, but I do for a living. I mean, I would love to say I used to actually just do radio for a living, but you know, as life progressed, I added radio and mixed it with what I do, but I'm actually, you know, my whole life is basically now healing and facilitating yeah. healing other people. So it's so weird that you pick, you know, not you, the energy, me. Your, your higher self is talking to you. Your Pick the rescuer. Self. Yeah, and, and I've got to tell you guys, I know so many women and men are going to relate to this all over the world. I just got to kind of emphasize this point. How many of us marry or date or, um, you know, be people that we know, that we see the pattern, we see the actions, we see the repeated events, and we say, but I know deep, deep, deep down, they're really A, B, C, D, E. They might be a good person. They might be an honest person. Deep, deep, deep down, you know, despite the thousands of lies or the the betrayal of intimacy or whatever, or, you know, mm-hmm. robbing bank account or stealing your business, you know, deep down, they didn't mean to do it. And so what do we do? You know, we keep not having boundaries and walking back in those relationships. So a lot of you guys, oh yeah, I'm not a healer. I'm not a counselor. I'm not a psychic. I'm not a rescuer. Many of you are still rescuers sitting in painful, painful relationships because you are in this energy. So, so I, I want you guys to not just say, oh yeah, that's really cool. That's her problem. You know, maybe it's your, your issue to it. And you're drawn to listen to this show because you can relate and you can get something out of it and then move maybe to seek further help, whether from your own higher self or, you know, a counselor or a practitioner to also find healing. So I just wanted to point that out. Yeah. And you know, the way that this game works, Kim, is that it is a game of mirrors and synchronicity and paradox. So Anybody that is attracted to the game that's listening to this right now, there's a message. In fact, that's how the game works. If there were six people right now playing this game, the benefit of this is that there's, you would be mirroring somebody in the game right now. And, mm-hmm. and the reason it's coming up in you is because it's probably too detrimental for the other person to come up so they get to hear it through the mirror in the game. So, you know. 
But anyways, that's, that's cool. And I've got to tell you, when we do our classes and our calls and our Q and A's and our, you know, I always say, and even when we do open to the public, um, calls. It's so interesting you bring that up about the mirroring because very quickly, I, want, I think I did a four-hour healing call and in the call as people called in and you know said their requests, it was crazy. It was like a theme. You see these themes and I know you've done it too. You see these themes you know and everybody's asking the same thing. You know, what is my life purpose or heal my relationship or you know, whatever. And you see the same thing. It's really, and that yeah. was talking about the magnetics of mirroring it's just really interesting yeah and, and it is a relationship ultimately that we're having with ourselves. and if there's a relationship where um the other person is really pushing a button they're an angel with a mask on because they're getting really and truly it's the aspect of you running through the other person and there is no right or wrong which we know that it, it's a matter of accepting the it's mirror when it's when pushing, pushing the, the button, button. <laughs> and using it as a divine opportunity for alignment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which doesn't mean you have to stay in the bad relationship, guys. But you right. can definitely take that, um, you know, lesson and that use that to uh, do your self work and, um, you know, self actualization and self healing. Absolutely. So this is really a super profound game. Obviously, <laughs> you know, big stuff well, here. It's, it's a healing tool, too, because like I said, there's a whole healing energy component to it once you get into the holographic deck because it's working in parallel realities. It's working in other dimensions, um, you know, just as much as we have something, a decision being made here in this dimension, we, we make decisions in other dimensions and we get bleed throughs and, um, you know, it's so there's so many layers and levels to everything that's going on. It's just amazing. And, you know, I, I just want to real quickly speak to when you were talking about um, technology and, and evolution, I notice when I go into the grocery store now and reading ores, people, it's so different today than it was even 10 years ago. It's like people can see each other now. Even, you wow. know, I mean, I know that technology is great, but have you noticed that? I've, I, you know what I've noticed, and I've noticed it in the, the parallel world of, um, because I see, not as well as some of my children, but I see spirits and uh, crypto creatures and all sorts of things and um, the fae and on and on. But I've noticed that it's much easier to see all of yeah. that, so the multidimensionality, which is Aura, and it's funny that example that I use that you do do that you go in the grocery store and look at flowers but you know I I think it's easier for me to see I don't know if that's because my frequency is better or I'm clearer you know yeah. so to attribute that to but what I've been saying that I think you'll really resonate with is I've been saying and I don't ever think there's necessarily been a veil but I always say you know people are like the veil's getting thin or at certain yeah. times of year I'm like forget all the certain times of year forget the veil's getting thin there is no veil and I do think some of the parallel realities that are being messed with with the time stuff that they've yeah. been doing for years and years with CERN you know they're blowing right, holes right, yeah. you know, versus like I I think it's game on I think normal people your next door neighbors are going to wake up and be like oh my gosh yeah. there's colors around everybody <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's a fascinating, fascinating world. It is definitely evolving. Um, but, you know, you can do another round of the game if you want, or we can talk more about it. This is the Exxon Broadcast Network, broadcasting worldwide on broadcast affiliates and satellite program providers, including CNN Broadcast Network, Sirius Satellite Network, Star Media, Good News Radio Network, Angel Broadcast Network, Wiki Broadcast Network, and WPBN-TV. For more information on the X-Zone Broadcast Network, visit us at www.xzbn.net. Did you know that when you're on the road with limited data or Wi-Fi, you can still listen to the X-Zone Radio Show with Rob McConnell, The Science of Magic with Gwilda Wiaka, X-1, Dimension X, Space Patrol, and every minute of the Exxon Broadcast Network by calling 
1-800-227-0080, courtesy of Audio Now. No smartphone, app, or internet needed. It saves your data plan, and it's free if you have unlimited minutes. Call 213-401-0080 to listen on any phone, anytime, anywhere. Remember 213-401-0080 for the best of the paranormal, parapsychology, and sci-fi radio programming anywhere, 24-7-365. I am Dr. Carl O'Helvey, founder, president of a new cancer foundation focusing on evidence-based physical, mental, and spiritual interventions, including natural cancer cures, prayer, meditation, affirmations, nutrition, and other related holistic cancer prevention and cure modalities. These are used in cancer education, research, and financing care. I ask for your help to continue this important work by donating at www.holisticcancerfoundation.com. Wouldn't you love to know the secret to everything? Well then, meet Dr. Kimberly McGeorge and her cutting-edge breakthrough knowledge that combines science with possibility. Dr. Kimberly brings real-life answers and healing to those open to alternative solutions. She teaches solution-based programs and classes that will change all areas of your life forever. Specializing in conscious creation, intuitive readings, and energy medicine, you can rapidly shift health, relationships, business, and money and abundance challenges quickly. Receive her best-selling book, Secret to Everything, at no cost by going to secret to everything.com forward slash x zone that's right transformation can start now just go to secret to everything.com forward slash x zone and receive dr kimberly's book for free What Happened in Benghazi is revealed by Nicholas Genix, author of Obama, Islam, and Benghazi. He informs the American people that President Obama deceived them by advocating a strong foreign policy prior to the 2012 presidential election, and Hillary Clinton supported this deception. As the title infers, there is a connection between Obama, Islam, and Benghazi. Ample evidence informs Americans that Obama's early indoctrination in the Quran developed an infinity for Islam, why the Quran is the source of discontent in many countries, and why the Obama foreign policy deception led to poor military action and caused the loss of American lives in Benghazi. Genix provides 36 questions for the Select Committee on Benghazi to validate if Americans are justified to mistrust President Obama and Hillary Clinton. An overview of Obama, Islam, and Benghazi is presented on the website www.futureofgodamen.com. That's www.futureofgodamen.com. You're listening to the X Zone Broadcast Network, www.xzbn.net. Welcome back to The Secret to Everything with Dr. Kimberly McGeorge. I am here with Sandra McKee, and we are discussing the game of perceptions. And we tried to give you guys a taste of the game over the last couple segments, but I kind of want everybody just to enjoy the energy of you. And I don't always get to do this with my guests, but I would love to play kind of a a game, not really, with you, where um, I call it the high frequency round, and I kind of ask you some questions sure. about you. <laughs> I get turn, I get to turn the fun. Yeah, right ahead. Yeah. Thank you. So, um, I'd love to know one book that changed your life. Um, Buddha's Brain. It is the practical neuroscience of happiness with uh, by Rick Hansen. Are you familiar with him? I'm not. Oh, my gosh, it's a great book. I'll tell you, it, you know, it helped me to um, interface and be conscious of my mind's emotional triggers, my reactive ego state, 
Um, and as a book is, is developed to uh, help enhance your compassion of yourself and others and to enhance relationships. And he talks about the way that we communicate and how it alters the circuitry of the brain. And man, did I get it. You know how, like, um, it was one of those aha moments. You know how you can read and study something for so long and, and it, when it hits you, it hits you. He talks about how you speak into people's illusions. Like, Mm -hmm. um, let's say I call up my girlfriend and I start speaking about my husband and I go off on him and this and that. I'm literally speaking into his illusion, building it and making it big. And then it bounces back on me. So that it creates the story and it makes the story bigger. And it literally will restructure the neuro... um, elasticity of the brain keeps you plugged in so the trigger it keeps the trigger alive isn't that fascinating wow i'm sure there's a a bunch of other stuff you know you brought up something for me i wonder if you've ever heard of i don't know if you've ever heard about um the people that have gone through let's just call it mind control programming and how literally um they could almost like sleep on a book and absorb the whole book yeah yeah or just turn the pages. Do you know what I mean? Like they're not even mm-hmm. really like, like they are reading it, but they're not reading it. Mm-hmm. For some reason, you just triggered that image when you were talking about that. Um, the brain is just such a, a, you know, it's so funny because I find it fascinating that kind of the area we were tapping lies outside the brain, but the brain itself is so deep and many layered and fascinating. And and really your game access is beyond the brain. Wouldn't you agree? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, So that so that was my... That was my favorite book. It helped to cultivate compassion and mindful awareness. It was a great book. I, I highly recommend it. Yeah, now, now I have another book I need to read. So, um, <laughs> okay. How, uh, um, how about what? your favorite quote and why? Oh, um, I love Rumi. Uh, what you seek is seeking you because I live it. <laughs> you know, it's almost a little bit um, paradoxical. Um, like I said, I, I, I really believe I came in to seek, um, uh, God, my, my oversoul must have really needed a lot of information, but mm. you know what you seek is seeking you. It's gotta be right. Mm, that's, that's a, much like that's an profound. antenna. <laughs> that's a, yeah. That's a profound one. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, I love it. Uh, yeah. 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 I like that too. Okay. An age you were that jumps out like the ages is so I'm sorry say that again honey age and age that you were that just jumps out at you oh um for some reason 30 30 I had um my youngest and you would think it would be others because I've had so many different experiences in my life but when I had my daughter I don't know you know I have two other children two older children but when I had her some I could feel something working through me like when she came through me as an entity a soul it's almost like it it washed my soul and i was always spiritual but that really was the onset of my spirituality my real like seeking i mean i just opened up spiritually after i had her and interesting that it interesting it correlated with a birth so that's kind of interesting to me too yeah you know kind of cool like you uh, on a yeah. different frequency level, probably open mm. as well. Um, let me think. What? Else. How about your favorite food? My favorite food. Um, I'm not much of a foodie, although I just um, got done with this great health course on epigenetics. So just got certified as a health coach for that. I, I'm real simple. Um, I have a thorn shake that I. I mean, not that I'm promoting any products here, um, but. I just love it in the morning. There's something about it. I just, I like my shake. <laughs> no, I think a lot of people have uh, some kind of drink that they like in the morning, yeah. even if it's coffee or tea. Um, where would you like to see before you pass uh, from this plane this time? Yeah, um, I've done a lot of traveling. I'm so fortunate I get to travel a lot. New Zealand. I want to go into the forest there and I want to visit some fairies. <laughs> I can say that here. <laughs> <laughs> New Zealand. I just am so attracted to that energy. I love that. Um, okay, what's the routine when you get up? 
Um, first thing I do is connect. I, I have such vivid dreams. It's really hard for me to, I have to like really, uh, disconnect and connect. Um, and then I journal every day. I journal my daily intentions and then I, um, visualize them. And then I do what's called a clarion call. And that's something that's in the game. And I have my coffee cause I love coffee. I exercise, I meditate and then I have breakfast and then I'm off for the day. I love that. And I don't want to run out of time before we tell the listeners all over the world how they can get their hands on this mystical game we've been talking about. Well, they can go to my website. It's uh, www.sandy, S-A-N-D-E-E, McKee, M-C-K-E-E dot com. And it's that easy. Um, what else are you currently doing? Are you um, right now? I, I got involved with what's called PH360. Me, it's uh, epigenetic coaching, and you can actually um, get the DNA by measuring the body, like take the circumference of the waist and the head and the neck, and it is absolutely amazing. Um, and it gives you all the. It's almost like an astrology reading, except it's of the cool. DNA. Yeah, oh yeah. And it can tell you the best place to live, what to eat, what your best career would be. It's really fascinating. Really? Coach, yeah. So um, the game also I do coaching with. And I, now I'm taking the PH360 and the game, and, and I put it into a coaching format, which is phenomenal. If you really want to move some energy, get to the core, and uh, step out into the world in a bigger way than you ever have before. I highly recommend the coaching. So this genetics thing that you're uh, mm. discussing, you don't have to take saliva or blood. It's something completely. No, that's what's so great about it. Yeah, it, it, you know what? They have been doing it for a long time. It's a really, it's a mixture of um, ancient traditions, the Vedic and um they they do use your birth date too. Yeah, I'd be more than happy to. Uh, maybe at another time, at another segment, um, I could do it for you and tell you all about it. Oh, that it's, sounds it's yeah. Detailed. That sounds yeah. It sounds really interesting. It it reminds me a little bit. It vibrates a tiny bit. I know not totally. Kind of like human design. I mean, like oh, ask. I'm a human design. But yeah, I, I <laughs> maybe that's design. what I'm but picking you know up what? off of you. It's, it's more. It's deeper than human design. Yeah. Very, it's a little bit similar, but not really. No, they didn't even know about human design. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a and it's by doctors. Doctors put it together, and Matt Riemann, who's out of uh, Australia. Interesting. I've never heard of that. I'm surprised because I've heard of a lot of stuff. So I'm going to look that up. Fascinating, fascinating stuff. So let us know. Let us know. Can get a hold of you on social media, uh, where are we at? I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Where where can we find you on social media or other places? Oh, on the oh web? Um, Facebook, LinkedIn, um, Facebook at Sandy McKee. I have a PH360Me, um, epigenetic health coach, Sandra McKee, um, uh, Twitter. It's it's all Sandy McKee, yeah. Or we could probably just um, Google you. I always tell people yeah. to Google. It's just as easy. Yeah, as you can Google me. All those individual um, places and media. Well, thank you so much. It's actually been super oh, thank fast. Thank you, honey. Number thank you. I appreciate it. I love the game, the game of perceptions. Um, go to her website, check it out, buy the game, play it with your family, play it with your clients, play it. I guess you can play it with yourself, I assume. <laughs> so. <laughs> Maybe not, because yeah. it might be hard. Well, you, you can call, and I can do a session as a game. You can there like you it. go. Oh, I yeah. like that. You could yeah. give somebody a game session. That's a lot yeah. easier than, say, you need to go to counseling. You can just say, <laughs> I've got, you can play a game. It's just this innocent I little always, game. I always say it's much better in the four walls to get your stuff done so you don't have to take it into the world, right? That's true. That's a great point. Well, thank you so much for being a guest. Uh, you're you, absolutely Kathy. delightful. Thank you for what you're doing in the world, and hopefully we'll have you back soon. And thank you. You take care, sweetie. Okay. Thank you. So, bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Bye bye. Um, so you guys check out secret to everything.com. We are always doing a number of things. We're going into our new, new season of the ultimate awakening, which is a high end consciousness private group where you can have direct access to me. We have frequency laden MP3s that shift different areas of your life. We have a private Facebook group that you can interact. We have two to three hour calls once a month on different themes. This next six months, we're going to be going deep into the energy of Chinese medicine and many other wonderful and amazing things. So check us out at secret to everything.com. And thank you as always for listening. Enjoy the holiday season. Enjoy your families. Enjoy your friends. Thank you for listening to The Secret to Everything.